Welcome to Carla's Baskets, especially with you in mind. I'm glad you could join me today and hopefully you'll be back again. And what I'm going to do today, I am going to make a female adult Easter basket. And this is one of my orders. Ordinarily I would put more in, but this is what they want. So I have stuffed the basket with tissue paper. I use brand new tissue paper. And to save time, I did this ahead of time. And I have pink grass because the colors are going to be teal and pink. So let's get started. Here we have a nice little tub of six different vibrant bright colors of fingernail polish. And then this is a microwave cup and it's filled with all types of chocolates and goodies. And then we have our nice little teal green water bottle. So as I'm preparing this, I will be changing things around. Cotton candy. Then we have Fritos and Doritos. Yum, yum. You know how it is with Fritos. Sometimes yeah, it's a little potent there. And then we're going to put in pink peeps. You can't. You have to have peeps when you have an Easter basket. It's like tradition, even if you don't like them. <laughs> and then we have colored emery boards to go with our nice little fingernail polish here. Oreo cookies we'll put in the center. So I'm going to move things around a little bit. It's a little upside down, but you know, that's the process. It's, everything is a process, guys. And then we have a bag of hollow chocolate Easter eggs. Yum, yum. You got to have your chocolate. And then we have a little hand. And when you push it down, the fingers go down. I push one, and then it gives you the peace sign. And this is filled with vibrant colored candy. Yum. And I like to change the coordination, you know, pink and yellow. And then right here, this is our chocolate M&Ms. with our nice colors to go with the basket. With a yellow Easter egg on top. And then we have a nice crisp chocolate Easter bunny sucker. Yum. Making you hungry, isn't it? So, I, as you can see, I will be rearranging a lot. <laughs> but it's a process, guys. Just bear with me. And Rice Krispie Treats. Everyone loves Rice Krispie Treats. When you were growing up, didn't you? Most people always said they want Rice Krispies. Kids love them. We love them. And then we have Hostess Chocolate and Purple Cupcakes. And I'm going to put that in the center here. I'm going to turn this around for a second here momentarily so that I can rearrange and adjust some of our goodies. Okay? You know, we want to make it where it's inviting, where people are going to say, oh, I want to come back and have some of that. It looks delicious. Mmm, and I love these. These are the brownies. They're Easter egg brownies, and they're yellow. Okay, so I like to mix my colors up and make things a little bit yummy. And while we're doing that, <laughs> one of my things fell, but we'll get it in a moment. And then here's my card. Baskets by Carlos with you in mind. So if my customers would like to get in touch with me for another order, they can. And with that being said, I'm, I had purchased cellophane bags to say Happy Easter. And I was going to do the plain one, but I think this looks nicer. So I'm going to roll it down so that I can get it in nicely. Okay. And then we'll just stick this in here. And before I get started, I'm going to turn this around and look at it and make sure it looks presentable for me. Because you know how I am. I like to rearrange things according to my taste. 
and I'm sure you would do the same, right? And then we're gonna put this. So, I'm gonna get some more tissue paper because we cannot see our Rice Krispie treats very well. So, as you always see when you, people have baskets, sometimes they'll add tissue paper to fill it in and make it look um, more inviting and where you can see it, it's more visible, you know? When you make a mistake, you just have to keep moving and you just keep working it until you get it the way you want it, you know? And so I'm gonna turn this again. And Mr. Easter Bunny Rabbit, he's just like kind of covering up our little, um, drinking bottle. So I'm gonna put another little tissue right here. And so that'll make that prop up a little, okay? It looks very overly filled, doesn't it? We barely have enough. But see, when I make baskets, I get a little carried away, and I love to add more and more. This is part of me making people happy is the thing I like to do best. And right here, I'm going to stick Mr. Easter Bunny Rabbit on here to give it a little bit of a flavor. And I'm going to turn him around. He looks a little bit awkward there, doesn't he? So we're gonna sit him up some more. And I'm gonna push him in there and see if we can get his, now look, <laughs> he looks cute, doesn't he? He's, we got, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I can't say very much but right now. He's so cute, I got him. Now, because for a minute there, he looked like he was going to sleep on me. Well, it looks a little <laughs> ill. I'm sure he'll be up to get put together in a minute. <laughs> he has no mm -hmm. choice. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, I'm using the color. The colors in this um, bag because it adds a little bit of flavor. Because you know what? I thought I would do something different with Teal. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> to make it look, it'll pop where people say, hey, I need to look at that. I like, if they don't even like what's in, if they don't know what's in here, first thing they're going to look, look at from far off, they're going to say, mm, I like those colors. I need to go and check it out. So, and that being said, guys, I'm going to pull this together and see what we're going to do about Mr. Bunny Rabbit. So I know you can tell by me with my little uh, joking mood here that I work with children. So they have me acting silly sometimes. So I'm gonna turn this basket around for a minute and I am going to work this so that we can see Mr. Easter Bunny Rabbit. Now, how does that look? We're going to find out sooner or later, aren't we? The bunny rabbit is sleepy, so mm -hmm. I think she's trying to tell me to hurry up. You know how it goes, guys. When you've had a hard day and you're ready to go to sleep and you have to stay up and keep working and working. So, with that being said, I'm going to poke her up there a little bit more and see if I can get it to work. How's it looking? <laughs> it, looks, it, looks, it looks the same as it did a minute ago. <laughs> oh, and I just get gosh. the giggles. <laughs> I get the giggles sometimes. So I've already made my bow ahead of time. But in future videos, you will see me make my bow. But today is not today because it's such a busy day. It's been a long day, and sometimes when I'm tired, <laughs> I start laughing a lot. Someone will think I had some laughing gas, so I have to, like, you know, settle down. And so I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to twist it. And now I need to turn and see if we can get it upright. <laughs> 
So with that being said, I'm going to fix our little Mrs. Bunny Rabbit here because she is so tired. She keeps trying to act up. But with further ado, I'm almost ready. I just have to turn this around and I'm going to put this on and then I am going to adjust the bag because as you can see, it needs to be adjusted and taped. Now, when you're making a basket, you can do anything you want to do. You can just, usually I use plain bags because most people, most of my customers, they want to see what's in the bag. But this is very visible. And it's Easter time. And, you know, you want to brighten someone's day. Especially when somebody's having a rough day. They come and they're like, oh boy, I need something to make me laugh or smile. We all need somebody to lift up our spirits, don't we? That's why... I have Easter baskets for adults. Sometimes they get left out and people don't realize it takes the whole world to make the world go around. I like to do baskets for our seniors too, but we forget about our middle age because without the middle age, they're the ones that keep things going, guys. So I'm going to take this and I am going to Sometimes when you crease it, you can crease it, and I'm going to pull it over to the edge, and I'm going to tuck it, and then I'm going to take the tape and go up under it. You know what I did, guys? I didn't even realize it, but I already had pulled off tape. So this is what happens when you're tired. You don't realize what you've done. And it's like a balloon, so when I'm done with this, I probably won't show this in the video, but I will take a blow dryer and I will blow dry it and take out some of this air that's in here because it makes it look so much better. With the air in the balloon, it's like a balloon right now, guys. And it's just having <coughs> so much fun. What do you say? No response. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess everybody must be <laughs> sleepy, right? Oh, my goodness, yes. It's one of those days. But it is turning out to be a very nice basket, I must add. Oh, well, bless your heart. Of course. Thank you. Oh, my she goodness. She knows what to say, guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> and even when you make a mistake, you just keep going and you just keep perfecting it. Practice makes perfect and perfect makes a good practice. I always say. And I just love having taking this time with you guys. And I hope you come back and subscribe to my channel. And the next time you see me, we will be doing a different type of basket. So this is going like this. And then I'm going to look at our bunny rabbit. She went to sleep on us. <laughs> So, with that being said, guys, I have to sit her up a little, so I'm going to have to undo this a little bit, just for a second. But like, while I'm undoing this, you can think about some of the things that you would like to do for your friends or your co-workers. I make smaller baskets, like just something to say thank you, and there's different types, and I will be doing that on another video. So, because there is not a lot of space and this basket is just really full, it just, so, hey, does that look better? At least it looks like he's awake. Oh, it's and a she. she. Yes, we had to remember, so I had to redo it, right? And so what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna leave that little bit of air when I do it. So that when I blow dry it, it'll be nice and sealed. Now, there are different um, channels that you can tune into if you don't know how to make your baskets. Some people buy their, ba their uh, not baskets, but their bows. 
they buy their bows and there's nothing wrong with that that's you know your forte and whatever you like i like to make my own because it's a part of me and it just and it's just practicing until you get better and better you know and i just think it's wonderful but when you're in a hurry if you need to do it the other way too and personally guys when i go to the store and they sell bows they're always white i love color so that's a that's an issue with me because it is not colorful i don't really want it unless i'm doing a white basket or something with silver or gold you know so things like that Bear with me, the tape is a little loud, but you know how it is. So, we're getting it together, guys. And I'm going to do one more. And even though you will not see in this video, I will be blow drying this. And then it is going to be lined and sealed even more. So, with that further ado, what do you say? Welcome to Carla's Baskets. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>